Hi guys, it's Rosie Cheeks and welcome to my first guitar tutorial. A couple of you guys suggested um, and requested that I do the peach tutorial for I use Poksunga. And so today that's what I'm coming to you with. Yeah, so I actually wasn't going to make that many more videos this summer because I'm actually really busy studying. But since you guys requested it, and I kind of wanted to give back through YouTube, because um, this is like the first, this is like the first and only guitar fingerstyle thing that I learned on YouTube. And when you guys requested it, I wanted you guys to feel the joy that I felt when I learned how to play it. And the Peach cover that I did was actually, I think, the second video that I uploaded on YouTube. But it was just so fun to do, even though I didn't really practice it, and I just like wanted to sh make a video as soon as I could. Have manage to play through the whole thing. I hope this can bring you guys a lot of joy too and that you can pass it along to whoever else. As you can tell, my voice is kind of weird right now. I think it may be because I'm lacking sleep right now and um, maybe I've been singing too often recently and so it'll be nice to study and get my voice back maybe. And um, yeah. <laughs> In terms of other news, uh, I updated my blog and so the uh, link is available on my profile and then I also um, made my Instagram public so if you guys want to go check that out and follow me or whatever. The blog has behind the scenes information about the music videos and like how the process works and if you guys ever have questions please let me know and I'm so more than happy to answer those and um, it doesn't even have to be questions about videos, it can be about um, me or like what I believe, whatever it may be. And yeah, uh, let me know if I should do more talking things or just stick to music. Yeah, uh, I hope you guys have a really good summer and thank you so much for um, checking checking this out. Yeah, 안녕하세요, Rosie Chicks입니다. 오늘은 아이유의 복숭아를 어, 가르쳐 드리려고 비디오를 만들었습니다. 비디오를 부탁한 분들은 다 영어로 부탁하셔가지고 그냥 영어로 설명하게 됐는데요. 다음 번에는 어. 어, 제가 발음이 약간 꼬여서 그렇지만 한국어가 그렇게 어, 어, 어색한 거는 아니거든요. 들리기는 그래도. 어, 그러니까 어, 다음엔 또 한국말로 어, 얘기하면 좋을 것 같고요. 어, 아, 제가 전에 SNS 하냐고 물어보신 분들이 계셨는데요. 그 당시에는 공개로 별로 안 하고 싶어서 어, 그냥 못 가고 그랬는데요. 이번에는 인스타그램을 퍼블릭으로 만들었으니까 만약에 사진 보고 싶던지 팔로우 하고 싶으면 하셔도 되고요. 블로그도 어, 새로 업데이트 했으니까 그것도 보셔, 봐주셨으면 좋을 것 같아요. 다음에 또 만나고, 이번 여름, 어, 화이팅 하세요. 감사합니다. This video is going to be in four parts, and so you can go through each one. Are you ready? Let's get started. I'm going to teach you guys two really important chords for this song. For the left hand, I'll be probably saying one, two, three, four. For the plucking hand, I'm going to be saying one, two, three, four, five. And whenever I call out numbers, it'll probably be for your, the plucking hand because I'll explain what I'm doing with the notes here. The first uh, chord, you're going to be putting your third finger here, first finger here, second finger here. And you're going to be going one, three, grabbing these two strings. So what you're going to do is start with your third finger off, you're going to go pluck on, and then this thumb is going to move down one string, and the pattern is going to be one, three, two, one, four, one, three, two, one. So again, um, you're going to go pluck on, move your thumb down one, and it's going to go one, three, two, one, four, one, three, two, one. The pattern right here is like this on the bottom three strings. So it'll go pluck one, one, three, two, one, four, one, three, two, one. And that's the first chord that's super important and the finger style. Um, once you've got that to the speed of this, you can move on to the second. I suggest that you guys master just a small section, clean it up, and then you move on to the next part. Especially in the latter part of this video, uh, I don't really go through and explain each of the chords if um, we've played them already, and so it'll be really helpful for you to get um, a section before you move on. 
So this is pretty similar. You're gonna be moving your second finger down and your first finger is gonna come off completely. The pattern for the right hand is gonna be the same, except you're gonna start with your thumb on a string lower. So there's no need to switch and move your thumb down. So again, it's gonna be off and on. For left hand or for your um, chord hand, it's gonna be slightly different because it's gonna come back off. So we're gonna go pluck on, one, three, two, one, four, one, and for where your third finger would pluck, you're gonna come off and go three, two, one. So again, it'll be pluck on, one, three, two, one, four, one, off, two, one. So one more time, it's gonna be pluck on. So one more time, it's gonna be pluck on, one, three, two, one, four, one, off, two, one. So when that's sped up, it's gonna sound like this. When you put both of those together, it's gonna to sound like this. And then you just keep practicing this because it's really important for the introduction and for the verses. It's gonna be pretty much the same thing with these two chords, except the ending's gonna be a little bit different for whether it's the uh, introduction or the verse. So um, you can practice that um, by pausing this video and then playing when you have gotten up to a certain speed. Um, woo, you can do it! Welcome to the first verse. So I'm gonna teach you how the ending is slightly different. I'll let you guys hear it first. This is the second chord variation. So what happened there was that you go pluck on and then you're going to pluck with your second finger and slide up to the fourth fret from the second fret. And then you're going to put your pluck this string, the highest E, and then you're going to slide back down with this finger and then you're going to do an open. So it'll go pluck, slide down, and then do an open. So basically you're going to play the first chord, then you're going to play the second chord, then you're going to play the first chord, and then you're going to do this variation of the second chord. So. So you guys can practice putting that together. That's the first half of the first verse. The second half also has a different ending. For the second part of the first verse, the variation is actually not even going to start with the second chord. You're going to have your second finger here, your third finger here, and I use my second and third finger. I'm going to pluck these two strings. You're going to slide from the second to the fourth fret. And then I'm going to use my first and fourth fingers. My fourth finger is on the lowest string here. And I'm going to move this back. But I'm going to lift my third finger and only move my second finger. Now when I'm plucking these two strings, they're going to be open strings, meaning that there's actually nothing on them. But I'm having my second finger here to prep for the next note. So after I slide up, then I'm going to pluck my open, um, my open strings, and then this note is going to slide all the way up to the 7th fret. And I'm going to play this note, and then it's going to slide to the 4th. So from here, it's going to slide up here. So it'll go slide, open, and when you put together the second part of um, the first verse, it's going to sound like this. So as normal. It changes here, slide, open.
So if you put together the first verse, it'll go. So you guys can practice that and then you'll have the introduction and the first verse down. You guys can do it! Woo woo! So unfortunately for this next part, the first two chords that I taught you aren't going to cut it, but we can learn these new chords and my hands are pretty small so I made slight adjustments to it. You're going to be doing a bar chord so that means that the whole fourth fret you're going to be covering with your first finger. My fingers are kind of short, so I'll, we're, since we're not plucking the top E string, I'm not actually um, barring that string. But the rest of them you should cover. We're going to be putting our second finger right here, our third finger right here, and then we're going to go through one, three, and then we're going to go two. So this two, if it kind of sounds kind of like this, that means that you're not pushing down hard enough with your first finger. Or that it could mean that your third finger is covering it. You're going one, three, two, and your th thumb's gonna move down one, and then you're gonna go with your fourth finger, which is on the bottom E. So it's gonna go pluck two, one, four, three, two, and then we're gonna go down to another bar chord, which is just the whole entire second fret. We're gonna do the same finger pattern. So pluck. And then move the thumb down, two, one, four, three, two. We're going to do the same thing, except this time we're going to be putting our fourth finger on the bottom um, E string. Um, if you practice it, it'll get better. And then you come down to the second fret. So again, this time the thumb is the same finger pattern, but your thumb was down one. And then... You're going to put first finger here, third finger here, fourth finger here. And then you're going to go. So just one, two, three, four, three, two in the middle four, four strings. And then first finger here, it doesn't move. Second finger is also on the second fret. Third finger is right here. This time you're plucking same fingers, but the string, um, the, these three fingers move down, each move down. And then we're going to go third finger, second finger, and then first finger right here. Or first finger, second finger, third finger. And then you're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, three, two. Strong, stop. So slowly that will be to the chorus. So after you practice that, you guys can um, press play again. So we're finally to the chorus. Woo! Um, this means that you guys are all basically like, you know, you after the chorus, you'll know everything that you need to know, um, basically. So the chorus goes back to the first chord that I taught you. And then the second chord. And then we're gonna go so on the three slide up and then we're gonna go like this so first finger is here second finger is here third finger stays in the same place you're gonna go one two three four all all of them you're skipping this one but you're going so they go Three 
sides up. And then you're gonna go like this. This is the same chord structure as um, we had it up here um, a moment ago, but we're gonna now put it, start from the second. Um, we're gonna borrow the second fret. So one, two, three, four, three, two in the middle four chords. This time you're doing the same one, two, three, four, three, two, but you're gonna move your thumb up. And then the chord here is also one that we've done before. You're gonna put third finger here, second finger here, first finger here. And then the first chord that I taught you, back to that. And then first here, second here, third here, and then the bottom four strings, you're just gonna go. That's it. And then we're gonna go back and repeat that. the chorus So that was the whole first, uh, that was the whole chorus. Well, I'll do that one more time slowly with you guys. So there's a right here. So after you guys did the stop. This is the first chord that we learned. And then the second chord. guys so um if you can practice that and speed that up then you guys will have gotten the chorus woo woo you can do it Good. Mm -hmm.
There's a short instrumental part next. It's basically the chords, same chords for the chorus that we just learned. And for my cover, I chose the whistle. You guys can um, play flute or violin or harmonica or sing that part with la or whatever you want to do there. But it'll, it'll sound something like this. <laughs> gonna go into you know it's so beautiful so it's gonna be the same chords but this time we're not gonna do an open off we're gonna strum it so the pattern is that we had before so bar and then three two bar and then you go to second fret and then it'll go first chord that we learned Stay on this chord for two bars. One, two, three, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two, in the four middle chords. And then whenever we switch to this chord, I kind of move my thumb up. go back to the chorus. The second time you sing the chorus, it's going to be the same exact chords, except for after uh, the na 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 part. Na, 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 na. And then instead of doing what you normally do, which is this, you're going to go like this, which is a little bit more minor. The fourth stage is about um, practicing along with me when I'm going at a slower tempo. There's my original peach cover that you can try following along with, and then the very last part of that stage is playing along with Ayu's actual recording.